how can I get my teenager talking more with me about their faith? Having spiritually deep conversations with your teenager can at times be challenging. However, God has designed our families so that we take the lead in conversations about Jesus with our teenager. We want to be very practical and help you out by sharing three types of faith conversations that you can have with your teenager anytime. Once you understand the three types of conversations, you'll be ready to engage with them as you go throughout life with your teenager. First type of spiritual conversation that you can have with your teenager is when life brings it up. You are away with your family or watching TV together or driving down the road. Something's going to come up that prompts a spiritual conversation between you and your teenager or others in your family. There are tons of ways that whatever happens around you gives you an opportunity to infuse faith into the moments of everyday life when you want to look for those kinds of conversations. The second type of spiritual conversation that you can have with your teenager is when they choose to bring it up. I think this might be my favorite type of spiritual conversation, if I'm honest, because it is initiated by our kids. You know what that means? It means that they're ready to listen. My rule of thumb is that if they ask a question, they are absolutely ready for an answer. If you don't give them an answer, rest assured that they can find an answer elsewhere, and it may not be the answer that we want them to hear. It may be the answer that our culture has ready for them. See, there's those moments when your teenager will come up to you with a question so that you want to make sure you're ready to respond. You might not see the spiritual element in it because sometimes your teenager is bringing this up to you and it may not be directly a spiritual thing, at least at first glance. They may not say, I was wondering about the book of Revelation said in this one verse, but one of the things you could look for is when they say, hey, mom, dad, I have a question. I, I've been having a fight with one of my friends. I just don't know how to get past this. You know what? That's an opportunity for you. They're asking you for that kind of guidance and that chance for you to give biblical guidance in an area where they need it most. They're giving you that invitation into their lives to give them spiritual leadership. So take advantage of it and don't push it off for another time. Have that conversation then and there. The third type of conversation that you want to look for is the time when you bring it up. Let's go back for a moment. This is where you are very intentional with your teenager and you tell them, you know, I need to talk with you about something. When you meet with them, you're giving them direct and intentional spiritual instruction, and you're bringing a specific conversation to the forefront. One of the ways that we desire to help you do this is through the Milestone Ministry here at Carmel. This is a way that we can equip you for meaningful conversations as you look forward to significant moments in their lives. You can find more of these moments simply by observing where your student is in life, where they are heading next in their faith journey. And then you can find ways to create an intentional moment that would help guide them through those steps along the way. For example, is your teenager about to start driving? Guess what? You can have a driving contract or some kind of party or celebration that honors the fact that they're about to begin driving and take that next step into adulthood. In that moment, you could start to teach them about the spiritual concept of being responsible or accepting responsibility, and also what's going to happen if they mess up with that car. And maybe they'll get a speeding ticket or even get into a, a car accident. How are you going to show them forgiveness? How are they going to accept responsibility? How are you as parents going to give them hope that they're going to be okay and they can keep moving on? Do you see how much spiritual significance is in that single moment? Besides these big moments, we can all be more intentional about having meaningful conversations with our teenager in those little moments along the way. A little thought and preparation can strengthen both their faith and your relationship with them at the same time. You can't spiritually lead them unless you're talking about the things that happen in everyday life with them. Look for those spiritual conversations and make sure to make these moments count with your teenager.